Hey gorgeous, today I wanna to tell you about one of the most powerful words you have in, at your disposal in your vocabulary already as a magnetic woman. I'm Lauren Joyce, sex and relationship coach for women and founder of The Magnetic Woman. So this word that I'm about to share with you, you already have in your vocabulary and you probably use somewhat often, but it may be a struggle to use in relationships or specifically with men. And this word holds so much power. It really is the gateway to more love, to more pleasure, but also to really inspiring a man up and into the relationship to really serve your desires. Are you ready? That word is no. Our no is just as, if not more powerful than our yes, most of the time. And what do I mean by that? The majority of us as women have been raised to be nice, to be people pleasers, to overgive, to always put people ahead of ourselves. And how often is it that you ask a woman to do something or you're asked to do something and you say yes, but you really mean no. And our no can be so difficult to bring out in intimate partnerships or with men that we're dating. And I don't just mean no in terms of, no, I don't wanna to go to the restaurant that you picked, although that can be challenging too. But our no, a really empowered no, is a stand for our worth, a stand for our value, and a stand for our desires. And so that's why it can be so challenging for so many women to feel clear in setting healthy boundaries in relationships, to feel empowered to say what they do want, but more importantly, what they don't want and what they won't stand for, to really stand for their desires. And again, that comes from having a really strong development of self-worth, of what it is that you deserve, but also of really knowing your boundaries and your desires. Now, here's the thing. Men actually want to hear your no just as much as they want to hear your yes. This comes from the basis and really the foundation in The Magnetic Woman that men and the masculine want to serve. They want to make you happy. But they can't do that if we don't tell them how to do that. And that includes telling them what does not make us happy. When our feelings are hurt, when we feel like they've disappointed us in some way. So your no is just as, if not even more powerful than your yes. So how do you get comfortable with saying no? Well, one is starting on the mindset and knowing that your no is going to give you more freedom, more power, more a feeling of being grounded in your own life and taking a stand for yourself. So really working on that mindset piece, maybe having a mantra around my no takes everyone higher or by me standing for what I want and what I don't want, it allows more for other people, whatever that edge is for you. Number two is start practicing. If it's really challenging for you to set boundaries or talk about what it is you don't want or more so how your feelings are hurt with men, then start practicing using your no in situations that maybe there's a little bit of less pressure for you. So at work or with friends, the next time someone asks you to do something and you don't want to do it, say no. And step number three is really taking care of yourself, loving yourself and holding yourself in this process. Setting really clear and healthy boundaries can be one of the most challenging things when you're dating and when you're in a relationship, this is why so many women end up in the same relationship patterns, end up with the same kind of men, end up having the exact same fights with their partner because they don't feel secure or worthy enough to set the boundaries that they need to have in order to feel safe and love. So really being nurturing and compassionate with yourself, just as if this was a child that you were watching getting used to and comfortable with setting boundaries in their life. You wouldn't blame them or yell at them like you may do to yourself. I get it, right? I do that as well. So again, the three steps to help you be more empowered in your no and feel more comfortable setting clear and healthy boundaries in your relationships are one, working on the mindset two, practicing saying no, and three, loving yourself with compassion, with tenderness, and really knowing that you're worthy of all of your desires. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you have first access to all of the videos that I create. Have a great day.